the seven mind games narcissists use to manipulate you. Narcissists manipulate their targets. They willfully cause pain and suffering to you while feeling no concern about it. They spoil and ruin your opportunities and chances of success. But people who are victims of this are often unable to see it. They're unaware of what is being done to them. Because narcissists put themselves in an authoritative position. A position of power and control. Where you assume that they are able to be trusted as being accurate and true. Because they present themselves as being commanding and self-confident. As though they should be respected and obeyed. When in fact they are using psychological tactics in order to control you. Which is why when all is said and done, they never support or strengthen your happiness or success. If anything, they become a hindrance to your achievement. Which is why you need to be aware of the seven mind games that narcissists use to manipulate you. One. Enmeshment. Narcissists are never going to change. Their disorder is maladaptive. And leaving isn't always an option. Because sometimes they manage to enmesh themselves in your life. Which makes your life even more difficult. And they do this by crossing your boundaries. By stepping over the limits and rules that you have set for yourself within relationships, which you set to honour your values and priorities. When you're dealing with a narcissist, your boundaries are uncertain, because they don't respect your interests and needs. Which is why they will say and do whatever they want without considering how it will affect you. 2. Deflection Narcissists use this tactic to avoid being caught out or exposed, to avoid being detected in error or wrongdoing. They will put the focus on you. They will blame you for everything. They will hold you accountable for the consequences of their actions, or they will focus on something unrelated and meaningless. Because they want to confuse you. They want to put your attention on something else. So that they don't have to take responsibility for their behaviour. Three. Exaggeration. Narcissists will exaggerate any positive things that you've done while minimizing their error or wrongdoing. But they will exaggerate your flaws or weaknesses while minimizing your accomplishments and success. They won't even notice all of the positive things you did for them. Instead, they will focus on the things that they believe you did wrong so that they can put you down and dismiss you as unimportant while advancing themselves to a superior position. Four, infantilize. The narcissist will treat you as a child. They will treat you in a way that denies your maturity in age, knowledge and experience. They will focus their attention on your lack of knowledge and experience to encourage you to behave like a child. To strip you of your ability to make decisions so that they can continue to have control. Five. Justification. 
when the narcissist can't evade accountability for their actions, they will always find a way to justify it. They will always have a reason or an excuse for doing what they do. They will lie, they will make up stories, but people will often believe them. They will often support the narcissist's distorted perspective because narcissists can be very convincing. They know how to create a false narrative. They want you to feel stupid or inexperienced as though you don't understand them so that you will stop criticizing them for what they have done and let them continue with their entitlement. Six, triangulation. The narcissist will cut contact with you while intentionally turning other people against you because they see you as being vulnerable and they seek to harm, intimidate and coerce you. You may not be aware of what they're trying to do, but they're actually just trying to make a group of people disagree with you so that you will not join together as one and then they can take control. Seven, playing the victim. They will play the victim to divert attention away from their wrongdoing so that they can gain support from other people. They will say that you made them do it or they had no other choice because they want to gain sympathy and attention and it also helps them to evade accountability and blame for their actions. Playing the victim helps them to control the people around them who end up becoming their enablers. They begin to encourage the narcissist's self-destructive behavior and make it possible for the narcissist to continue doing what they do. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.